Welcome back. It's the seventh largest economy in the world. One out of every eight U.S. residents live in this state, and it produces 17 million gallons of wine each year. Mary Cochran reports from the Golden State on a Corps of Engineers project of national importance. This is considered the world's largest landlocked harbor. Nearly half of all cargo entering the U.S. passes through California. In fact, line those containers up, they stretch from California all the way to Korea. But there's a problem. Modern cargo ships need deeper water to navigate safely. The president has placed our project as the second of six projects of national priority. And only out of those six are only two navigation projects. So it's extremely important. The Corps of Engineers is partnering with the Port of Oakland to dredge the harbor to 50 feet. 11 million cubic yards will be dredged. That's enough to fill 11 stadiums. But here's the best part. This San Francisco Bay mud is a resource. All of the material that we remove from this project is going to be beneficially reused in wetland restoration projects. Creating more than 1,000 acres of coastal wetlands. About 80 to 90 percent of the original habitat has been lost. Um, and those species that were dependent on it are um, in big trouble. Species like the California clapper rail and the salt marsh harvest mouse will have a home here among the pickleweed. This fall, the dredge material will start being pumped in here. The concept is quite simple, um, but you would not believe how complicated it is. So complicated that geotechnical engineers collect data from underground probes that measure the uh, ground pressure. Science that will return this land to a natural state, benefiting the environment and keeping the fourth largest port on the West Coast on the cutting edge. Mary Cochran, San Francisco, California.